online examination that should only appear on screen inside a controlled space with a candidate sitting in front of the computer, we understand is being sold. The answers and the questions are being sold for a certain price. How could this happen? Tell us, tell us from a technology point of view, how could this happen? How high up in the system do you have to be in order to leak an examination paper like this one? You don't need to be very high up uh, in order to leak such a paper. You need to be the relevant person who has the relevant access to the paper at the back end or at the administrator's console, or it could be anybody in the system who had access. So anyone could, once they had access, could have taken screenshots of the paper, could have sold it, could have transferred it for consideration. Now the question is, once an electronic evidence has come in the uh, public domain, in the form of social media, which exactly are screenshots of the examination that was to take place an hour later, that's prima facie proof uh, of enough uh, grounds to say, let's go and uh, investigate the entire stuff done. And better getting it done from an independent agency like the CBI. But uh, in a scenario like this, once the evidence is already up, unless until the department says or the commission says this evidence is tampered, in which case the onus will be upon the commission to show how the tampering has taken place. If the questions are the same, and at the end of the day, let's leave aside everything else. If the commission has been pleased to cancel the paper for whatever reason, now that itself has to be seen that because these are available in the public domain, and therefore the, uh, the cancellation took place, the two and two must be put together, and therefore the innocent students who should not be made victims of just uh, a constant stubborn denial of acceptance of ground realities. Today we are working in a networked world. Cyber security breaches like these will now continue to keep on happening at regular frequency. And as a nation, we should be prepared to accept this harsh reality. The bigger issue will be how quickly can we make ourselves more resilient? How can we make our systems more better protected so that instances like these don't happen? And these are teething problems. There's no harm in accepting the fact that there's a problem. So what? We are uh, reconducting the examination. We can conduct it again. I think in today's world... It Do you is believe the government has given us the right reaction, Pavan Dugal? Do you believe that the, go the government's reaction has been the right reaction? I don't think uh, the uh, the reaction has been in the right step because the reaction should have been, okay, this is good enough. Let's hand this over to investigating agency. Independent of this, let's give a clean slate once again. Let's give the chances to all the meritorious candidates. Let them sit them again. Now, if tomorrow right. it's found out such leaks, that would have been better. But to put the onus on the agitating students to say, you give me proof, it's like the person is going to be a party, a prosecutor, and a judge at the same time. That may not necessarily be in the right direction and would not earn much confidence uh, levels of the aspirants in the commission or in the, uh, the response of the department.